This next year, I want to warn you, is going to be even crazier and nastier than the last election cycle. It's hard, it's hard to bring it on. Bring it on, he said. And the media, our friends in the media, are going to be incredibly awful. So I want to give you guys a pro tip since I worked three decades in the media. It's always opposite day with the media. Whatever they say, assume the polar opposite. The people they attack the most, i.e. President Trump, are the people who are fighting for you the most. They really are. So we know they're going to run cover for all of the career politicians. That's how they do it. They just run cover. And that's what they do. They spread the lies. They, they refuse, though. What I hate most is not just the lies, because we're starting to be able to detect the lies. I hate that they don't tell what they aren't telling us, the stories that are so important. We've got a fentanyl crisis that is coming through Arizona and that is absolutely killing a young generation. One of my young friends, Nico, I think he's in the crowd, his mother... Nico, I love you, buddy. This guy's great. His mother died of fentanyl poisoning. Every single one of you knows somebody who's lost a life. And we're not getting these people back. They're gone for good. It, it hurts to think about it. And, and I know that my friend, I think she's here. I need you, Karen, because I'm about to lose it up here. I need you. Karen Griffin. She's in the crowd. Come up here. I'm going to try not to get emotional. I've become friends with this beautiful, beautiful lady. And shame on you and the media for not covering stories like this. Karen lost her son, Tyler. He died of fentanyl poisoning. And there he is. He was not a drug user. Uh, Karen, do you mind telling Tyler's story? Thank you. I love this lady. 